Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Cycleland. Today we're going to be featuring Cotyledon pendants or commonly known as the Cliff Cotyledon. Itong succulent na to is a beautiful trailing succulent that is native to South Africa. We have these parang circular na leaves attached sa kanyang stems and these hanging stems now could reach up to 60 centimeters long. The reason why tinawag siyang Cliff Cotyledon is because sa kanyang natural surrounding or environment sa South Africa, they literally grow sa mga sheer cliff faces or sa mga bangin. Yung kanyang leaves are thick and at the same time, the color is parang yellow-green. And sa kanya mga leaf margins, you could appreciate yung parang mga red na ganyan. And up close, you would notice na medyo chalky nga yung kanyang leaves. Parang may mga puti-puting powder sa kanyang pinaka-leaves. It's one of those succulents that is very cute to look at. Kasi if you're gonna be using your imagination, it seems like parang may nakatingin sa inyo. Like for example, here sa gitna. Ayan siya. Parang may mukhang nag-appear dyan. So, these are the eyes. Yung dalawang yan. This is the mouth. And ito yung kanyang head. And yung nasa gilid niya are the ears. I don't know if you can imagine that one. But for me, every time I see this succulent, I'm really having a good vibe sa kanya. Or parang kumbaga nawawala yung aking stress pag nakikita ko siya. Even here sa pinakataas, I wanted to show you. Para paraho lang naman yung itsura ng kanyang leaves pero the way they are arranged seems to be different. So here again, we can imagine another figure. So yung eyes niyang dalawa dyan, the mouth, the head, and the ears sa gilid. Even here, ayun o, para siyang si Simpsons. Ayan, this one, tiba. It's very cute. The color ng kanyang leaves would now depend on the season, the temperature, and the light intensity that it's receiving. Siyempre, the more sun exposure that it will receive, the more you could appreciate nga itong kanyang sun stress na color. Moreover, our cotyledon pendants would be producing a hanging bell-shaped flowers at the ends of the branches, and that is also something that I'm looking forward to kasi yung kanyang flower is also very nice and it complements well yung appearance nitong ating pendants. So this is an easy succulent to grow kasi they are suitable both sa indoor as well as outdoor gardening but I prefer or I would suggest na you will be putting this outdoors so that you can have these kind of red margins sa kanya. Kasi pag nasa indoor siya and you're not gonna be giving it sufficient sunlight, it will just turn parang light green. So very ordinary lang siyang tignan. Para lang siyang bilog na leaves and nothing more. This cotyledon plant needs ample sunlight but the harshest sun can also cause yung ating sunburn especially if you're located in the lowland area so you have to keep it in a sunny position without direct sunlight you can put some shade or some plastic UV sheets in my case I do put this in an open area exposed talaga siya sa sun exposure from sunrise to sunset although when I introduced it first ating open area I did it gradually hindi ko siya binigla and exposed sa ating full sun that is also something that you can do if you want nga na ilagay siya sa rain or shine area it doesn't mean that I am located sa highland areas is that hindi na sila masa sunburn and on the other hand it doesn't mean na nandyan siya sa lowland areas is masa sunburn na siya agad we have to remember na even if na magkakaiba nga tayo ng location our climate, our temperatures, still, if we will be able to acclimatize yung ating mga succulents, then we won't be having a problem exposing them to full sun and even to the rain. Like all other succulents, our pendants is a very dry tolerant plant and they require yung ating less water. So we have to water it occasionally to infrequently kasi we are trying to avoid yung ating overwatering and we are currently filming this and it's the onset nga of the rainy season. Talagang dire-diretsyo na yung pag-ulan dito for a week. Nandun lang siya sa isang open area and constantly talagang exposed siya sa ulan. I was expecting na magiging mushy na yung ibang mga leaves niya but it's the other way around. You would notice na medyo dehydrated pa nga yung iba nilang leaves. Look at this. Ayan no? So shriveled. Ganito ang itsura pag underwater yung ating mga succulents. So, medyo shriveled siya. Hindi siya mushy. It's actually dry. Yung talagang mahi-feel ninyo 
And may kita ninyo na parang wala ng tubig sa kanyang pinaka leaves. Ayan. Even if I will be doing this, there is no water na lumalabas sa kanya kasi it's already dehydrated. I've also seen some of its leaves na medyo kulubot na. Like for example here. Ayan, tiba Medyo dry na din siya. Kaya I will just continuously put it doon sa ating area na nauulanan. With their soil requirements, itong cotyledon species na to grows fine in any cactus or succulent soil mix you can buy or you can make your own na potting mix as long as it is well draining for us to avoid nga yung ating root rot. So I'm just using ating typical na loam soil and I just added some pumice stones to facilitate more drainage sa kanya. Fertilizing the succulent is also important especially nga if yung ating plant or succulent begins looking lackluster or parang hindi masyadong maganda, hindi siya masyadong lush tignan or sometimes yung kanyang growth is slower. So in my case, I do fertilize this every month and I kept on mentioning sa aking mga vlogs before now, we have to make use of a low or poor nitrogen na fertilizer. Yung ginagamit ko is just 8% na nitrogen. And what I'm doing is diluting it half the strength para kumbaga magiging 4% na lang yung nare-receive itong aking cotyledon pendant. Sometimes I can go for one-fourth strength. So, ibig sabihin, 2% nitrogen na lang yung nare-receive ng aking succulent or pendant. And, and that is something na very acceptable para sa ating mga succulent since they are not really heavy feeders. Our cliff cotyledon can be grown from cuttings or yung ating mga leaves. If you prefer yung ating mga cuttings, we have to do it during the warmer months. You just have to look for a stem na possibly you wanted to cut. I have here a uh, propagation. This one is a stem propagation from this plant and look at how fast it grows. Ganyan na siya kalaki agad-agad. And right now, I'm gonna be trying to propagate this part. Sobrang daling magtanggal nito sa kanyang leaves. Ayan, diba? And then, ang gagawin ninyo is, of course, you can also set this aside kasi they can also be propagated through their leaves. Now na natanggalan na natin siya ng mga lower part or bottom leaves, then we can now finally cut it here. Ayan. Ganun lang siya kabilis. I wanted to propagate more of these pendants kasi bagay siya para doon sa ating vertical succulent garden na gagawin in the future. And that explains why kung bakit nilagay ko nga siya dito sa ating hanging na pot. Para ready na siyang i-hang in the future. For this one, hindi ko siya ipropropagate kasi pinapahaba ko nga siya. So remember na this is a trailing succulent. So we could further appreciate it pag humaba na talaga siya. Ito pala yung nasa pinakalikod. This is also a cutting from this mother plant. Ayan, naglagay pa nga ako ng itong ating DIY na plant stand here. And I guess it's already stable enough. So there's no point of using this, we can remove it. Ayan, tiba. Talagang well-rooted na siya. Ayan. So, I guess I will be cutting this part as well. Ayan. And so, even if na ganito lang kaliit ito, we can still plant it and in time, magkakaroon din siya ng roots dyan. Lastly, we should also be protecting our pendants from susceptible na mga pests such as yung ating mga millibugs, scales, and other kinds of bugs including yung ating mga fungal infections. If you see or suspect na may fungal infection siya, then you have to treat it right away para maagapan and hindi na siya lumala. And that's all for our cotyledon pendants. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.